Welcome to this week's video, the pace stick. A pace stick is a long stick carried by warrant officers and other senior NCOs that are drill instructors. The pace stick traces its origins to the Royal Regiment of Artillery, who used gunner's sticks, as they were called, to measure the distance between guns in the field. These gunner sticks were more like a walking stick and had an ivory or silver knob on the end. Unlike modern pace sticks, these could only be opened at a fixed distance. Uh, they were quickly adopted for use by the infantry for uh, drill purposes. In the British and Commonwealth militaries, the pace stick is used as a symbol of authority and is used to aid in military drill. It consists of two pieces of wood, as you can see, that are hinged at the top. And they taper towards the bottom here, as you can see. It's kind of like a large uh, drafting compass. They're shod and fitted on the ends with polished brass. As you can see, this brass is pretty dull. It hasn't been polished in a while. It's designed to open so that the tips can be set at a fixed position that correspond to various lengths of marching such as double, quick, and short marches. Once open to the correct or desired length, it can be held alongside the holder's body via the hinge at the top. With one leg vertical and one leg pointed out, or pointed forward, sorry. Twirling the stick while marching makes the stick walk alongside the user's body. Uh, in the United Kingdom, they are only permitted to be carried off of the parade grounds by regimental sergeant majors only. Although some regiments at their own discretion allow sergeants, sergeants major, and equivalents, so warrant officers, uh, to carry a pay stick if they are qualified drill instructors. I'll show you how it opens. There it goes. So that's it open all the way. I'll uh, post some photos at the end of the video with it standing open and closed and what have you so you can see it a little better. Now that I got it open. There we go. There we go. Uh, the use in Canada is very much similar to that of the use in the United Kingdom. Uh, in Australia, they are used by some of the police forces there such as the College Sergeant and Drill Instructors of the Australian Federal Police, uh, those in the Victoria Police Academy, and the Senior Protocol Officer of the New South Wales Police Department, or Police Academy, sorry. Uh, also, Senior Sergeant, the most senior uh, NCO in the Australian Police Forces, carry a pay stick, as a badge of office. Uh, Denmark just reintroduced the use of pace sticks in their military for sergeant majors on the parade ground, as well as other appropriate 
occasions, and that happened in the year of 2017. Uh, this particular example of a paste stick is the one that belonged to my father, who was a sergeant in the Princess Patricia's Canadian Light Infantry in the Cold War era. He served from 1982 to 1994, and uh, during his career there for four years, he was an instructor at the Canadian Forces Recruit School, CFLRS, Canadian Forces Land Recruit School at uh, CFB Cornwallis in Nova Scotia. That was back when there were two uh, schools. There was one for English speaking soldiers and one for French speaking soldiers, the English being at Cornwallis and the French being at St. Jean Sur Richelieu. Uh, nowadays there's only one and it's based in St. Jean. I'm not sure the type of wood that is used for this one but I think it's probably Canadian maple. It's very similar to uh, the wood that's used in my dad's uh, swagger stick. Uh, if you haven't seen that video uh, check it out. It's on my Facebook page there and I think I'll uh, post it to the YouTube account here as well today. Get some of those other videos up onto this platform as well. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. Like I said, I'll post some pictures at the end of the video here so you can see it open, closed, different heights, what have you. Thank you.